mean centering variables for regression analysis in SPSS. If we have a numerical predictor or a numerical moderator, it is very helpful to mean center the two variables before we include them in a regression model. If we mean center them, the results are more easily interpreted. How do we mean center variables in SPSS? In our example, we have exposure as a numeric variable and contact as a numeric variable. And we want to know whether there is an interaction between the two if we want to predict attitude towards smoking. Now let's first mean center exposure. First of all, we need to know the mean score on exposure. With frequencies, for example, we can ask for the mean. We select exposure and contact as well. We don't need the frequency tables, so we disable that option. Let's paste and run. And here we got the average scores for exposure and contact with smokers. In our next step, we just subtract those mean scores from the original variables. We can do that with transform compute. I will create a new exposure variable that is mean centered. I use the original exposure variable and I subtract the average. 4.8655. Okay, let's paste this one and do the same thing. But now for contact, we subtract 5.0909 and we create a new variable contact centered. Let's paste this one as well. Let's run the two commands. And as a result, we have two new variables, exposure C and contact C. Now we can use those as predictor and moderator in our regression model. We must use the two mean centered variables to calculate the interaction predictor. So let's do that now, again with transform compute. I will create the exposure contact centered interaction predictor simply by multiplying the centered exposure variable with the centered contact variable. Let's paste and run. And now we have the interaction variable as well. Let's include them in a regression analysis. Analyze, regression, linear. Our outcome variable is attitude and our mean centered variables are the predictors. For statistics, we like the confidence intervals and let's require the descriptors as well. Let's paste and run. In the output, the descriptive statistics tell us that exposure and contact have been mean centered. The mean is now nicely zero. It could have been slightly different from zero due to rounding errors or missing values. Never mind that. It need not be exactly zero. Then let's go to the coefficients. The estimated unstandardized coefficient for exposure now is the effect of exposure on attitude towards smoking for people with average score on contact, so with an average number of contacts with smokers. It's minus 0.18. It's statistically significant and according to the conference interval it's negative between say 0.31 and 0.06. So more exposure predicts a more negative attitude. Contact has a positive unstandardized coefficient of 0.16 and this is the effect of contact for people with average exposure to the campaign. And finally the interaction variable has a very low value 0.02 which is not statistically significant, and according to the confidence interval, it could be as well negative as positive. So basically, we have no reason to conclude here that there is an interaction effect between exposure and contact.